what's going on sliders i'm making this video today to um inform you guys and possibly help you guys out um with this issue that i ran into the other night i was doing some sliding with some of the one of my boys and we were um doing some pulls and at the end of like third gear i got a crazy backfire and um i didn't think much of it because i didn't get an engine light but after i parked the car and went to restart the car it was in limp mode giving me a constant drivetrain malfunction issue and um, pretty much didn't have any boost it was in a safety so after stressing about it for about two days i went through the car i found two boost leaks i found a boost leak from one of these vacuum lines that connect up here to the top on top of the manifold and i also um, found my pcv vent hose to be cracked and leaking and so then i just replaced it with the hose temporarily but that wasn't the issue i thought it was a boost leak it wasn't um a lot the code that i got the first code that i got is um related to a boost leak issue like if your coupler on your charge pipe came off you would get this code but the second code i was getting was a pretty much a wastegate um implausible code i'm going to show you guys a screenshot now So this code that you see here um, is related to an issue with the um, the wastegate actuator and the position of the um, the linkage itself. So as you guys all know, I have an upgraded turbo, and I have heard that after people upgraded their turbo, they have had to do a um, a reset or a relearn of the wastegate. Um, actuator in my case i it, i never touched the uh, adjustments which are right here and i didn't have an issue for a while i even tuned this car car made over 600 horsepower without an issue um but on this night i was at higher rpm just i guess maxing out the turbo or at 100 uh closed wastegate duty cycle and this this issue came up and maybe this issue has never been present and i guess i was pushing the car pretty hard and it popped up so um i've been in limp mode for two days going crazy and then finally i came over here to check the wastegate to make sure it wasn't seized i took off the linkage it was fine and then when i took off the linkage and i was moving it around um when i put the uh the the linkage up to the wastegate while it was off i noticed that it was off center it was never the whole of the linkage while it was off was not sitting over where the actual wastegate was which was a lot closer in so i believe that my actuator was pushing past its limits and in this vice versa when it would go to close the wastegate it was never reaching the waste the closed position so what i did was i have an autel a pretty basic autel that allows me to check the um the wastegate position it's not necessarily a relearn it's just a test so the test told me that it would not reach the close position so when i saw that i decided to just turn this this inner nut um just a few turns in until i noticed that the linkage was directly over the um the gate in the open position so i saw that it lined up perfectly and it would slide on and off very perfectly then i tightened it up I did my wastegate test again and it passed. So I think I fixed my problem. This whole time, my wastegate has been, uh, linkage has been out of adjustment and I have been possibly missing out on boost if my wastegate wasn't closing fully. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully, if you guys are having this issue, this has helped you resolve your issue because this was very frustrating for me in the last few days. There's not much information online about it and i think it's because people um resolve this issue um after you know narrowing down the problems and no one ever follows up but i'm gonna follow up with you guys today and tell you that this fixed my problem so i'm gonna put it all together we're gonna go for a ride and make sure my car isn't in limp mode anymore Alright guys, so we're out on the road, no limp mode, 
every time I would start the car on before, it would give me a drivetrain malfunction and I'd have no power. That is gone, so we're looking good. And I can hear my blow off valve and I can hear the boost building, which I couldn't hear the boost building before. So that's awesome. Get on it and see what's up. Whew. Wow, the shifts even feel faster. It's, I don't know if this. I don't know if it just sounds different. While I was fixing this problem, I also found two boost leaks, so my car is sounding a little bit different now pretty happy with it guys so yeah guys if you guys were having these codes and these issues definitely get your um wastegate uh relearn get a relearn on your wastegate done make sure your weight your wastegate is within proper adjustment and set to the proper limits and yeah guys we're back Woo! that sounds awesome all right, guys, be safe. Stay sliding. See you in the next one.